This guy found Hitler's secret last French bunker, but there's a reason he can't reveal its location. Mark Askett has just found something incredible. Hidden deep within dense woodland stands a secret subterranean stronghold that bears stories from one of Europe's most brutal battlegrounds. But despite his fantastic discovery, there's a very good reason why Askett can't reveal its exact location. An urban explorer with a passion for military history, Askett has regularly scouted out World War II sites. Indeed, before this expedition, he'd already located the sites of numerous wartime relics. Yet, as he headed out on his latest adventure, Askett must have thought this one could be fraught with danger. For one thing, Askett would have to tread carefully as he braved the woods during the French shooting season. Still undeterred by the potential threat of hunters taking aim through the trees, he made his way to the remote location hidden deep within the forest. The explorer was looking for a construction with an intriguing but murky past. Somewhere nearby, a giant concrete complex was concealed, and after he'd made his way through the forest, the colossal compound finally loomed into view. A keen photographer asked it had brought his camera along to document the derelict structure in detail. In fact, the building visible was gradually being reclaimed by nature, an undergrowth had already enveloped some of the site. But what exactly was it that he'd found in the French forest? The answer almost boggles the mind. Askett had uncovered a huge Nazi bunker buried deep in the French countryside. Reinforced with concrete blocks, the vast site was used by German forces during World War II and was a key command center in the conflict. Before entering the bunker, Askett came across an old swimming pool outside. From his research, the explorer learned that a giant tarpaulin used to hang above the water here. Interestingly, it served to camouflage German officers as they swam lengths of the pool. All Askett had to do was find his way in. Rusty shutters on doors and windows protected a lot of the old entrances. However, as he surveyed the site, the adventurer must have uncovered an opening and then headed inside. Within the crumbling complex, Askett was entering is a huge network of rooms and tunnels that sprawl beneath the surface for six miles. Furthermore, at its deepest point, the subterranean site stretches almost 100 feet below the ground. But there was more to this bunker than just its staggering size. In fact, the base was one of Adolf Hitler's secret strongholds. And what's more, it's believed to have been his final headquarters outside of Germany. Initially built with an invasion of Britain in mind, this is the location from which Hitler later made plans to burn Paris to the ground in the event of the Allies capturing the city. Neither of those scenarios ultimately panned out, of course, but the fortification stands as testament to a pivotal point in history. Known by the Germans as Führhauptquarter Wolfschlucht II, the bunker was one of ten such sites used by Hitler during the conflict. In fact, it was the Nazis' Western Front military command. The compound contains a maze of passageways and rooms that would have housed German officers and staff. After all, Europe was in the grip of war. Following the unprovoked German attack on Poland in 1939, World War II raged for six years until the Nazis were finally defeated in 1945. The conflict was one of the bloodiest in history. Indeed, it's estimated that more than 50 million soldiers and civilians were killed during the war. As most people know, the conflict was fought between the Allies, which included the UK, the USSR, and the US, and the Axis powers, which primarily consisted of Germany, Italy, and Japan. The Allies, of course, eventually overcame the Axis nations and liberated the horrific concentration camps that the Nazis had set up. Hitler, moreover, was the leader of Nazi Germany throughout the conflict, and as the Axis forces advanced across Europe, he ordered the construction of several similar subterranean sites. Each of them housed headquarters, and together they formed strategic strongholds in different regions. Inside this bunker's dark and dingy spaces in the present day, Askett found old canisters and rooms strewn with decaying debris. Meanwhile, some of the compound's corridors, floorboards, had fallen away to reveal rusty pipes beneath. Elsewhere, other areas contained concrete corridors that burrowed deep down underground. The gloomy passageways were protected by thick white walls and vaulted metal doors that had tarnished with time. Askett was no doubt pleased with his extraordinary find, and he subsequently uploaded photos of the complex to Facebook for others to enjoy. However, one crucial detail was missing. The location of the bunker wasn't listed. Well, you might have thought that Askett just wanted to keep the whereabouts of the secret site all to himself, but there's actually a good reason why he couldn't disclose the position of this vast complex. In fact, it turned out that the site was still in use. Yes, the top secret location is currently a training site for the French Foreign Legion. That meant the precise position of Askett's awesome discovery had to remain unrevealed.
But although Hitler's hideout is still concealed from the public, Askett's images at least give us a glimpse into the secrets of this subterranean stronghold. Please share this video with your friends below.